Hey guys, while we are rethinking Bitcoin, I'd like to turn your attention to certain features of your yield generating Bitcoin wallet that might not be used to its full capacity, especially on days like today when the costs to transact on the Bitcoin blockchain are a bit costly and slow. All right. So there are features of the wallet that can be used to better transact in Bitcoin. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, you know, we are always rethinking Bitcoin. And in this video, we are going to talk about aspects of this wallet that are underrated, undervalued or are not being used to its full capacity. All right. So I want to talk about that. And this falls in line perfectly with what's going on with Bitcoin and the network right now. So I want to jump over to a comment that Shitty Finance just dropped a few hours ago. And <clears throat> excuse me, he's loving the system. He says the system is great. Uh, I hope to be using it for a long time. The only bottleneck I found is the BTC network transaction fees. $20 today. Right. So this guy's is an issue on the blockchain itself. And I'm sure all of us have noticed the exceptionally high fees that have been occurring over the past couple of days, right? It seems to be going back down now, but if we look back at the mempool, we see that we have some serious upticks in the price to get our transactions on the blockchain so the price has definitely been going up it's been costly to send payments and even now as things are recouping and the congestion is still there we're still sitting on uh well the blockchain is still awaiting maybe a hundred eighty thousand hundred eighty five thousand transactions that are still waiting to be processed on the blockchain OK, so this introduces the. Concept, another concept of this wallet. OK, so. If you guys read through just the home page of this wallet, every aspect of this wallet is discussed in a little summary. Talks about how credits are issued here. Talks about how the marketplace is used here, which you guys are thoroughly enjoying. And now let's address this because this section comes into play when we're dealing with high transactions on the blockchain and costly transactions, right? This wallet supports Bitcoin, right? Transaction, transacting in Bitcoin through your wallets helps alleviate issues that have historically plagued Bitcoin. We're talking speed, transaction costs, network congestion, and a native inability to earn Bitcoin simply from acquiring or holding it. All right. So this part here, guys, you, you are very aware of because right now you guys have been jumping in and seeing how it actually generates yield for you. But consider, guys, this wallet can be used as an effective tool right now when fees are costly to transact in Bitcoin when fee when transactions are very slow in tra transacting in Bitcoin. All right. So let us not neglect this aspect of it. And I do understand, guys, when I first launched this, it's all about building trust. Right. 
who wants to put their Bitcoin on a, a non-custodial wallet and leave it there? Well, you don't have to leave all your Bitcoin, but in situations like we're in today, it makes sense to have some Bitcoin in case you want to transact. If you want to send money to a friend, family, loved one, uh, pay a bill or whatever the case is. If both of you have wallets in this system, you can transact instantly without going to the through the blockchain. Right. So you guys keep this in mind. And in the process of this, I know that the trust is growing. You guys that are using the system, using the marketplace. Of course, you are trusting in the system to give you credits and having those credits convert into Bitcoin. Right. You are entrusting your Bitcoin with the system and it's proving over and over again that it is trustworthy. OK. And even Drip Coach dropped a video um, a few days ago and kind of highlighted that since the launch, the system has transacted over $500,000 worth of Bitcoin. And this was a couple days ago, right? So it's continuing to transact and gain you guys trust, which I don't take lightly or take for granted because that is how we build. So you guys just consider the possibilities of using this wallet to transact outside of the blockchain because it helps in so many ways. It relieves the congestion from the network. The transaction is instant and it will cost you much less to send Bitcoin transactions to other people within the network. So if you need to send some money to someone, just send them out here, have them create a wallet, click a button and bam, that money is there. And I am going to demonstrate that because I still have an obligation to pay out. There was a little promo I was running for you guys that want to try out the system. And uh, I did specify in a previous video that I will give uh, $20 worth of Bitcoin to the first 10 wallets. We currently have eight uh, that have actually requested it. And you guys can come to this video here and notice uh, the comments of people leaving uh, their wallet IDs and addresses. So I'm going to go ahead and start issuing these. There's no need for me to wait on 10 because these are active participants that want to join in and want to try the system. So there's no need of me waiting for another two to creep in. I will still issue this for another two people that come in uh, first come first serve. But as of now, I'll just start sending these payments out. So we have number one, and I'm not going to do this for all of them. I'm going to send it to all of them, but I'm not going to burden you guys with having to watch me do it. All right. And if I don't send it to any of these guys, you guys post a comment in here and say, hey, bro, I didn't get my transaction with my $20. <laughs> all right. All right. But I'm showing you guys this for the purpose of letting you see how instant these transactions are. Right. And we're talking at a time. Let me set this to twenty dollars. I don't want to talk and send transactions at the same time. OK, I'm going to send twenty dollars to this address. You guys notice my transaction fee. OK, I'm not burdened with that network transaction fee. So I'm going to hit that. I'm only paying a dollar twenty five US. That's about a dollar one or one pound. And I'm going to send that transaction just that quick. He's received it. I'm going to go ahead and send the next one. $20. Okay. And I'll be doing this for each one of these. Okay. I always want to be careful when sending Bitcoin as well, because I actually had one person and I'm going to show you guys this as well, because this is just a tip um, for all you guys that are transacting in Bitcoin. All right. I need to jump on number four next time. Right. OK. So uh, we had I had one person. Uh, he specified his wallet ID and an address 
that is a legacy address. This wallet does not issue legacy addresses. This is old, outdated, costly to use. So the system does not issue these addresses. However, this is his address that he uses as a recovery address. So I knew that this is not an address in the system, right? However, when he put this here, it's, li it's likely that he meant to put his actual wallet's Bitcoin address, but he specified this. And this is something you guys always want to watch out for when you are sending Bitcoin transactions, make sure you are specifying the correct address to send it to because once it's sent and on the blockchain, there's no turning it back. OK, so you guys be careful and watchful of that. And I'm going to get back to sending out these transactions here of twenty dollars and you guys get out there, check out the system. This is the perfect time to do so. So you can learn how things work. And it will be a blessing for you. All right, guys, I'm going to continue to do this, but that's all I got for you in this video. And we will holler at you on the next one. Peace out. All right, guys, I just finished up sending those transactions. And just FYI, here's a quick way to verify and make sure these transactions were sent. So you can always come out to your dashboard, click on send uh, with BTC withdrawals that are sent. And you guys will notice that all of these transactions it was this wallet address and e equating to these wallets uh that amount that fee that i paid for it so on and so forth so this is a log in history of the transactions that were sent and you'll notice that they do equate to these transactions here all right so there's always a log and a tracking of the transactions that you do on this wallet. All right, guys, I'm going to end it with that and we'll holler on the next one. Peace out.